After I've moisturized and primed my face, I'm jumping right into the eyes. I'm going to be using this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the color Milk. This is going to prevent my eyeshadow from creasing. I have super oily lids, so I want the colors to stay on all day long, and I want the colors to really pop. And then I'm going to blend that in with my fingers. The girl next door to me has a really pink, bronze, smoky eye, so I'm going to use my Makeup Geek palette and I'm going in with these two colors and I'm going to place them on my lids. I'm starting with the lighter color first and then I'm going to put the purple right on top to create a really vibrant look. I'm aiming for more of a daytime smoky eye. I want it to be a soft, smoky brown eye. So I'm going in with this Rimmel Scandalous Eye Cream Pencil and it's in this beautiful brown shade. I'm adding that to the outer V of my eyes and then working my way into the crease. Then I'm gonna set that with this brown shade. I wanted to darken it, so then I went back and used an even darker shade to kind of smoke out the eye. I'm also going to repeat the same process on my lower lid once I have my foundation on. Then I'm going in with my favorite mascara, which is the Real by Benefit, and taking my e.l.f. liquid liner and lining my eyes. I didn't want to do a wing because I'm not too good at it, but I kind of envisioned the girl next door to have that perfect winged eyeliner. So if you're good at it, then I suggest that you go for it. I love this liner because it's so super affordable and it's really simple and I love the wand. It makes it super easy for someone like me who's still a beginner with liner. Now I wanted to go back and add some color into the eye. I didn't want it to be too plain, so I'm taking that purple shimmer eyeshadow and adding that straight into the crease. Now for that perfect porcelain skin, I've been loving this Fit Me Matte Poreless Foundation by Maybelline. I kind of envisioned the girl next door to have really glowy matte skin. So I'm going to be adding that foundation and then blending it out with a foundation brush. Now this foundation is also great because it's really really good for layering. So I'm going to put two layers on it until I achieve that really seamless skin. Now that the face is completely finished, I'm going to add those eyeshadows onto the bottom layer to create more of a smoky look. And now it's time to move on to the face. I'm staying in the Maybelline family and adding one of my favorite concealers. I pulled this out of my vault and I'm adding that under my eyes. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I'm pressing it in with my Beauty Blender. This is just going to give me that perfect under eye glow and make me look super awake. I'm also adding in just a little bit of that onto the other high points of my face like my forehead, nose, cupid's bow, and chin just to add a little bit of glow there as well. As soon as I'm finished, I'm going to take my Dead Beauty Blender to set my concealer using my True Match Powder. And this is just going to prevent any creasing. I really want the look to look very pulled together. Now onto my lips. I initially wanted to do a pale pink lip, but for me, I just kind of think that the girl next door likes to take risks, at least in my head. So I decided not to go with this pale pink lip. I don't know, what do you guys think? What is your version of the girl next door? What would be her perfect lip color? But I do like this combo and I will leave a name to that, that lip combo in the description box. So I moved back to the face and then I'm bronzing. Of course the girl next door has to have super glowy bronze skin so I'm using my CoverGirl from the Queen Collection. And then of course to add that glowiness I have to use my ambient lighting palette from Hourglass and I'm adding that to the high points of my cheeks. And I'm also just gonna dust a little bit of that anywhere else I might have put concealer because I'm going for an all around glowy look. Like 
I also like to put that on my cupid's bow. It helps my lips stand out more because I'm going to be going in this time with a super bold lip. So the liner that I'm using is Night Moth by MAC, one of my favorites lately, and I'm going to be using this new purchase by MAC which is called Heroin, and it's a really a beautiful matte purple lip, and I'm going to be filling my lips in and going right over the liner. Although that girl next door, I think she would be using a lot of affordable products, you can definitely get a really good dupe on this matte look. And Revlon has one, Revlon Colorburst Matte Lip Balms called Shameless is the perfect dupe. So that's pretty much that look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is kind of my version of that girl next door. I hope that you guys like it. Let me know what color option would you like for the lips. Did you like the pink or the purple? So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in another video.